Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This time we're going to retrace my solution for the puzzle task 4 in the last sector. So when I first started out this level um, I got something like this and I was really a bit clueless but in the end it took me like 18 or, or 19 tries to figure this out so it was not that hard. Um, what I actually did in the beginning was uh, my, my default approach uh, to say like, okay, if HICB equals S, return HB, if CBCBA equals um, S, of course, then return BBA and so on to, to generate a couple more test cases here uh, to check what's going on was a it was a bit uh, was a quite a hassle to to do that because um, it would only generate one additional test case every time so it's quite some some work to do and some waiting to do especially because you write one line then you recompile again you wait you get another line but um, what occurred to me quite quite fast is that um, in case the input string has a, a, an even number of characters in it, then the output string has a, just half as many characters in it. And if it's an odd number, then uh, it's like the half rounded up. So in this case, it's five half is uh, 2.5 and rounded up is 3. So um, my my idea, the idea that came up in my mind is that just uh, every two characters are somehow combined to compute the next character. And if I look at, at it this way, I see here's H and I and it's combined to H. And here it's C and B and it's combined to B. Um, that's like always taking the first one in the alphabet maybe but if I look down here um, where I have C and A and the result is B uh, it came to me that maybe it's like the uh, the average of these two characters so like uh, converting the characters to integer adding the integer values up dividing them by two and converting them back to an integer uh, thereby rounding down so that uh, for H and I it's in it's in between, but it defaults back to H. Um, so that's what I implemented in the end. I say uh, we walk over the the string, starting with the first character, uh, going to the length of S, and then getting the characters out of it. So my first value is like the character at the eth position which is s or char at um, i don't know if i have to convert explicitly we'll find out in a second and the second one uh, cip for ci plus so the next one they actually have to check if there is a next one so if um have to check if i plus one is still smaller than s dot length and if that's the case then I'm going to use char at i plus one otherwise I'm going to use the the value I have up here so just uh, to make sure that the average is again at this very value and then my new value or my new character is um, ci plus cip divided by 2 um, let's make this character here some braces to make sure the computation is right and then I need a, a string result where I can append all this information so to the result I append um, the character n and then I'm going to return the result and if I did not mess, okay, I have to go over here 
in, in steps of two so that I get the first, the third, the fifth and so on a character and always check the the one in the middle by this by this line here. So this should actually solve the task if I did not make a mistake in the implementation now. And uh, it even gave me the full skill rating. Let's wait for PAX to confirm what I just said. Um, yes, and here it is, full skill rating, solve the task. So I'm content with it. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.